Welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to fix this 2006 uh, Nissan Sentra special edition. The uh, rear window is not working, so I need to remove this uh, the whole uh, back cover. I need to start with this. So this you need to pry to pry it. You need to use these tools to pry it like this. Slowly pry it as you can see. Now you need to use a 10 millimeter uh, socket, 10 millimeter socket to this, and you need to pry this out. So, this one you need to remove this by hand, you need to remove the clip. Remove the clip slowly. The next thing that you need to remove, you need to remove this using this uh, plastic uh, tools. Slow remove it. There you go. I already uh, removed it. Next thing you need to do, you need to remove this using the 10 millimeter bolt. Ah, uh, sorry, brother. Now you're going to use the uh, 10 millimeter socket and using the ratchet you need to turn it uh, counterclockwise to remove the uh, bolt and you need to remove the other side as well and after that And after the you know removing that bolt, uh, all you need to do, you need to slowly. Uh, you could just this pry it. You could use this, or either use it by hands. Pry it underneath. No, no, the whole thing, the whole thing. Here, <laughs> start it from the bottom. Start from the bottom. Right there. Pry it, pry it. Okay, pry it slowly. You need to pry it to the side of the uh, door, the door panel. And underneath, all the way up. Picture of picture Okay, you need to pry this out by pulling this out like this. Now you are able to remove it, the whole uh, door panel. Now the next thing that you need to do, you need to remove this cover as well. Okay. And uh, you need to use also 10 millimeter to remove that uh, bracket. Okay. So all you need to do also remove all this uh, poor, uh, poor bolt using the 10 millimeter. You need to remove it and uh, turn the uh, bolt uh, counterclockwise. And uh, don't forget to hold the uh, window because it might gonna. You see, you see the window. It will just fall up because there's no uh, bolt that holding the uh, the uh, power window
and uh, slowly uh, slowly roll this down you need to remove that uh, that bolt as well remove this bolt and the other side as well there's another 10 millimeter bolt that you need to remove okay removing the bolt for the uh, for this window there's a bracket and then the bolt that you need to remove it using the 10 millimeter socket rings and there's another bolt through the right side you need to remove your extension bar so you need to remove the extension bar and you need to use the uh, ratchet with the 10 millimeter bolt there's another uh, bolt the 10 millimeter bolt for this uh, power window through the right side uh, he already re removed the left side of this uh, power window the bolt for the bracing so you need to turn it uh, you need to turn your uh, ratchet to left uh, to counterclockwise to remove the bolt now he's trying to remove the bolt to the uh, bracket of the that holding the window the glass window so I'm holding it uh, using my hand if not if I'm not gonna hold it it might gonna fall down to, and you might gonna break this uh, window if you're not gonna hold it you need to hold it or either you need to tape it so I'm holding through using my left hand while I'm filming while my brother uh, removing it removing this motor you need to remove the socket through this okay. and there's a uh, as you could see uh, this is that you need to remove you need to use a screwdriver to pry this so that you are able to release this in order for you to get the whole regulator the window regulator I'm assisting my brother and it's my brother <coughs> to fix this uh, this Nissan Sentra 2006 so this is the new motor the power window motor the regulator motor Okay, we're gonna use this uh, super tech uh, molly grease through the rail. Hold this one. If you see that rail, if you see this rail, uh, we're gonna put a uh, little bit grease through that and also through that as well. Okay, my brother, I'm assisting my brother to uh, to pack it with uh, with grease. This one you need to put a grease through the. Uh, Rail. and also to that as well so don't rely to the grease that uh, it comes with it I uh, usually uh, add the uh, Molly uh, grease which is a super tech brand to lubricate it so that this uh, window automatic regulator it will slide it through once you roll down it will go down once you roll up it can easily roll up so I'm assisting my brother how to put it back so putting it back so you need to do the reverse the burst uh, to what uh, we did If you guys do this by yourself, uh, you know, I will recommend you guys, you need to tape it, the uh, window, the glass, through this uh, window frame, so that it will not uh, gonna fall through the, uh, through the, uh, through this uh, door, uh, just avoid to pull it through, because once you remove the, the regulator, there's a bracket that you need to remove as well. This will be applicable to 2001, 2006 uh, Nissan Sentra, whatever model that you guys have. This is for the rear driver side door. 
uh, this is the uh, way that you replace your window uh, regulator I already put the regulator back inside all you need to do do the reverse you need to put the, uh, the bracket through the window if you see this uh, new bracket you could use the open race or either uh, the uh, the ratchet so I would rather use the uh, ratchet with a uh, with a uh, 10 millimeter so use a 10 millimeter with ratchet so you're gonna place it back by uh, turning it to clockwise and using the uh, 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet so you do the reverse and uh, you could uh, easily install this back Higpitan mo na maayos yan, higpitan mo na maayos Higpitan mo chuchu na maayos yung luluwag okay. mo Okay, 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 nasa isa pa, nasa isa pa, isa pang kukulay ginto Dalawa yun eh Installing this, uh, you need to hand tight it If you see that uh, right side of this uh, bracket You need to hand tight it and then after that you need to use the ratchet without extension bar And you could just place it back uh, No need to torque it uh, just snugly uh, tight it and that's it so there's another guy supposed to hold the uh, window glass while the other one is uh, you know setting it place the bolt I will suggest you guys uh, it's easy to do it by with two persons but if you don't have any uh, guy that able to help you out uh, all you need to know do you need to put a uh, masking tape through the uh, window frame and you are able to uh, do it by yourself I do this before uh, I have an issue with bore with my Toyota RAV4 and I replace the uh, driver side the front driver side of my uh, window regulator and this is the same process uh, with the Nissan Sentra they're all the same so you won't get wrong. Once you do this uh, before, and uh, the next time that you will do it, uh, whether uh, yeah, it's a different brand of car, so it will be easy here for you to do it by yourself. When I replace my regulator, I do it by myself. See, my brother uh, tried to, uh, you know, tighten the uh, bolt, so it's going to snugly tight it. Uh, you you don't need to use a torque wrench uh, for this. Uh, window regulator bracket just snugly tight and that uh, that will be okay okay and don't put too much pressure okay placing it back the uh, regulator uh, frame of this uh, power window you need to line up the hole and uh, hand tight it isa, no? yes so, ko na lang yung ano niya. Uh, you need to line up the hole and uh, hand tight it first not very hand tight it and then use the uh, socket frame. Sorry, there. There we go. That's how you do it. Hand tight it first, and after you hand tight, and then you use the uh, the ratchet. Tapos sa kabila mo naman yun yung ilalim naman yung ilalim. Tung mo nang ikapit lahat, tung mo nang ikapit lahat. Kapit mo nang isa baba. Okay. Okay, hand tight uh, also the other bolt through this uh, through this uh, regulator frame. Wiggle it a little bit so that you are able to line it up through the hole.
Ganda lang, oh. Lolo, eh. Yan at mga konti. Hindi mo na langan siya. Naka-fix na yan. Naka-ganyan. Fix na yan. Okay, the other side. It's snugly tightened. <coughs> Now, you're gonna test it out. If it works or not. Yeah. To test if, uh, you know, this uh, window regulator is already been set in place. You need to put this, place this back and uh, temporarily place it back and uh, you need to roll this up okay test this out now the window is working now it roll on it rolled on the window now the only thing that you need to do is to put a uh, a conditioner or wt-40 as a temporary uh, conditioner for the sliding uh, for, for this uh, window for the window glass okay so the only thing that we need to do is to uh, put the uh, cover Ito, dito, to, ganyan, ano? yeah so you need to place this back the way you get this uh, window cover uh, we already fixed it so this is an easy fix so if you cannot do it by yourself uh, ask somebody to fix it So I assisted my, uh, you know, my brother to fix this uh, window regulator because uh, he called me the other day that uh, he had a problem with this uh, 2006 uh, Nissan Sentra Special Edition, the window frame. So what I did, I assist my brother to replace this uh, window regulator. Hello. Hi. How are you? What's your name? Don't forget to uh, place it back this uh, bracket. So my brother just forgot to put this back. So we're gonna put it back right now. Uh, hand tight it again to place it back. Parong! Happy Thanksgiving! punya bayang okay. so this is an easy uh, fix for your uh, window regulator if you guys have a 2000 2006 Nissan Sentra this will be applicable to your Nissan Sentra whatever model that you guys have especially the Sentra you need to place it back this uh, padding there's a sticky pad uh, through the back the sticky glue you need to put it back and then the next thing that you need to do put the frame put the window panel frame the door panel okay. my brother will put the uh, window frame panel snugly push it down push it down okay place it back here to make it secure this one okay you need to wiggle it a little bit and then once you see that you already secured it so there's a clip that you need to place it back so once you place it back all you need to do you need to do the reverse uh, you need to put the, uh, the bolt again using the uh, 10 mm socket or either the screwdriver so my brother hand tied it replacing it back well it's easy to replace this window regulator no need for you guys to take this to the dealer or either to any repair shop or more repair shop you could do it by yourself I'm not an Ormori mechanic but I have, uh, I, I could able to do under chassis repair for my vehicle. And this is the uh, Nissan Sentra of my brother. This is Nissan Sentra. He put almost like, uh, uh, how many months you put in this car? 
170,000. Okay, don't forget to uh, place it back. Uh, this one. Uh, this. Uh, the socket. You make sure that you pour it. Uh, yeah. Yep. You need to pour it like that. Because that's for your uh, power window uh, controller. Make sure that you will stick it back. Stick it, stick it. Okay, and uh, yeah. Place this back. secured it and then uh, we need to attach it to the back in the socket we need to turn it back so you do the you do the reverse and yeah it's the same process you just do the reverse to you need to secure it that you already uh, put it back the socket because that's for your uh, sliding window controller okay okay you need to place it back the whole the whole uh, door panel cover last thing that you need to do you need to put it uh, place it back this one okay kabila okay na for this uh hey done so right now it's already been done so all you need to do to to test it we already put uh, everything back you know the uh the regulator the door panel frame so all we need to do you need to test this and this window will roll down now we're ready to fix the uh, problem of this uh, window regulator I hope you guys learned today to my YouTube blog until next time guys may you guys have a wonderful day today may God bless you all bye for now subscribe and share through my YouTube channel bye for now uh, before and uh, the next time that you will do it, uh, whether uh, yeah, it's a different brand of car, so it will be easy here for you to do it by yourself. When I replace my regulator, I do it by myself. See, my brother uh, tried to, uh, you know, tighten the uh, bolt, so it's going to snugly tight it. Uh, you, you don't need to use a torque wrench uh, for this uh, window regulator bracket. Just snugly tight and that, uh, that will be okay, okay?